Good morning. Uh, it's October 31st, so it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. And this is my, I think it's my, no. Okay. This is my second Halloween in Bulgaria because I first showed up in Bulgaria four years ago at the beginning of November. So I've almost been here for four years. In 2017, I was in Romania for Halloween. But then actually, no, this is my third Halloween in Bulgaria. And we never do anything because Bulgarians don't really celebrate Halloween. Halloween isn't really something they do in Eastern Europe. Last year, I tried to show my fiance. It's also not as an uh, African holiday. I tried to show my fiance Hocus Pocus. That did not go over well. But because we were supposed to be in America and I really thought we would be home by now, I'm like kind of forcing him to celebrate Halloween just so Jordan has not memories because he's nine months old, but just so Jordan has a Halloween. So I'm going to the store. I'm going to go to the grocery store and buy a pumpkin. We're not going to carve it. We're going to eat it because they don't really have good carving pumpkins here, but we had, they're really delicious to make like mashed pumpkin or in things. So I'm going to buy a pumpkin. I'm going to buy some candy. Uh, I'll probably force a movie later. We'll see. And then I'm going to go to the store to see if there, if I can find like a cute little baby costume. I could have ordered one, but just like, I didn't know what we were going to be. Are we even going to be here? And so I just kind of gave up. And now it's Halloween. It's like, you know, almost noon on Halloween. And I'm like, I want to do it. So uh, we'll see what I can find. So it's a little windy, but it's like a really beautiful fall day. What Bulgarians do on Halloween is, or it's a Christian holiday we took to North America, but it's an Eastern, or it's a Western Christian holiday. It's, you know, Catholicism and Orthodox don't really have it. So Bulgaria is an Eastern Orthodox country. So there are holidays here that are spooky and kind of like scare away things, but that's um, Serva, which is in January. And it's where like villagers and people dress up like monsters and wear these like heavy bells and they dance to like scare away the devil. But that's a totally different holiday here. It's in January. It's celebrated all over the Balkans and it even became wrapped up in like Catholic carnival. And so like Venice and, um, but what they do have is imported from like Western culture, Western European and American culture. And it's more like the adult slutty Halloween. So kids don't really trick or treat. Um, but you will see people have like club parties, but obviously this year that's just not really happening. Uh, so I'm here. I'm going to start by, this is a clothing store, Pepco. I don't know. I can't remember if the brand is in North America or if it's just a European brand, but we're going to start there, see if I can find a costume for Jordan. If not, it's okay. Then we're gonna go next door to the Billa grocery store. It's very convenient that they're right next to each other and very close to my apartment. So, uh, wish me luck. So the Pepco's closed, even though it says that it's open on Saturdays at 10 a.m. So, but I'm gonna go instead to this Best Buy, which is not like an American Best Buy. It's, um, here I'll show you. It says Best Buy and then underneath it in Cyrillic it says Kataisky Magazine. And at the top it says uh, two etage. So that means the store is a Chinese store, Kataisky Chinese Magazine store. And it is on the second floor above the Pepco. And then you can see the Billa is the grocery store we're gonna go to is right next door. I have no idea if they have Halloween costumes, but it looks like they have a lot of random things, so we'll see if I can make a Halloween costume, or if they have them. How cute this is! They have the Cyrillic alphabet in magnets for the refrigerator. I think it's only three leva, which is like the equivalent of like $1.75. I see like carnival style masks and birthday masks. 
but uh, no Halloween masks so far. anything that could remotely be turned into a costume. We're gonna go to Billa and get the candy and the pumpkin and see what else I can come up with. It's probably just gonna be that because I'm not very DIY. <laughs> Look at these great pumpkins. Look at this, so since there's no Halloween here and there's obviously no Thanksgiving here, Christmas stuff. Christmas stuff is already out. Oh, jingle oh, bells, like bells jingle like bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. That's insane. Like, it's, it's think it, before Thanksgiving. It's October. The fresh bread here smells really, 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 really good. Halloween style candy, so I'm just gonna get some M&Ms and then these are fine. They're cheap, they're fine. Online. Uh, I'm gonna stop and I was gonna enjoy like the Benitza that I bought and some of the soda uh, and just take 10 minutes for myself but I don't know it looks like it might rain so I'm gonna try we'll see what happens Uh, so Benisa is like uh, Philo Joe and cheese. It's really good. Hmm. This one has like a sweet filling that almost tastes like pumpkin that you don't normally get. So that's nice for today. But um, it's very typical Bulgarian breakfast. I'm eating it as a snack because it looks really good and I'm very hungry because it's one now and um, I've been up since 6.30 and I breakfast at 8. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes of mom alone time and enjoy this in this park and hope I don't get rained on. So that didn't last very long because now I think it really is about to rain and the pumpkin was really delicious but made it a little bit sweeter than I wanted to eat that whole roll. So I'm gonna try to book it back to my apartment and not get rained on. So I came home, Valentine is still napping, I hung out with Jordan for like 45 minutes, ate the rest of my pumpkin beneath, so it was delicious. And then Jordan was kind of, there's like something on the lens. Uh, then Jordan was kind of like fussy, so I was like, if I put him down, great. But then there's, we, our one bedroom apartment is too small for us, but Jordan is this age where he can't be, he won't take a nap if somebody's in the room making noise. And Valentine is, you know, 33 years older than Jordan, but the exact same. So there's nowhere for me really to be in the apartment if they're both going to be asleep, and I do want them to both be asleep, or they're both cranky. Um, so I'm actually going to take the bus to the mall and see if the H&M has any cute baby costumes, or if not, at least like a fall-themed shirt I can put them in. Uh, no, we don't need it, but... I just, I love looking back at the Halloween pictures from my childhood and so I think he'll like that even if we're not actually going to do anything other than watch movies and hang out together, but that'll still be a nice holiday. So let's go to the mall. I decided to stop first at the like baby kid store and they have some really cute clothes but I don't see any costumes but they have really cute 
clothes for little kids, like this little bear jumper. But I don't see anything that would pass for a Halloween costume. This little dinosaur hoodie wouldn't be exactly, but it does have little scales on it, which is so cute. How cute is this one? So I just checked out this other cute store, but they don't have any baby costumes either. Uh, so H&M is my last shot. I did get that dinosaur hoodie just in case I can't find anything else. Look at this cute fox outfit. Not exactly a costume, but it's super cute. Um, they also have Christmas stuff already out here. It's not Christmas, Bulgaria. It's not Christmas yet. Okay, so couldn't find anything that actually technically qualified as costume. In H&M there were some cute jammies that like you could have paired with some homemade ears, but they didn't come in his size. They were like really small. And so I just, we're gonna go with the dinosaur hoodie with scales. It's not exactly a costume, but he can wear it forever and it'll be cute, or not forever. He can wear it for like two months, but it'll be cute. And um, I tried, um, I'm gonna catch the bus home. are. The thing about being in Bulgaria that I really love in fall is it's gorgeous and the foliage is amazing. I love taking road trips this time of year. The only two days I don't want to be here are Halloween and Thanksgiving because I'm homesick and want to be home and want to have those holidays the traditional way I grew up. Such a big boy, he needs to see his go go now. Uh, he does need to get here for it too. Yeah. I found out Jordan just took his first like real steps like he's taken a couple steps like where he has like walked off things and then taken one or two steps and then fallen over but he just walked from that chair to here so not very far but like on purpose without falling or crawling or holding on to anything and I wish I'd gotten it on film but I did it and he's not gonna do it again tonight probably. Happy Halloween!